Um, a lot. Can I just ask, um, how are you feeling about your season, about being back in the team, getting a bit of competition? Um, you know, where, where are you at? Oh, good. Um, feeling positive, feeling great. I uh, probably should be back in, in, the, in the starting lineup. Um, season's gone on for a long time since, I don't know, when I started February or whatever. So um, I think I've been growing ever since. And um, being back with the squad now, this off week, I think, which we had, um, we really grew as a group and, and got tighter and got connected. And I um, obviously there's a few new players uh, around that you need to get, get the hang of. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to be back here, but happy to be in Alsbreit and uh, really looking forward to this weekend. Well, it's part of the uh, interesting part of the Springbok mentality is that as soon as people write you guys off and people think, you know, you, you guys are really seriously wounded then you come up with a massive performance. Um, now, in this game against the All Blacks, it's kind of, you know, nobody, you know, nobody knows kind of who's, who's the favorite or whatever. How's the mental side of things? Is, is there that kind of same motivation that you can dig into um, for, for this game? Yeah, I think the motivation is even more. We've been in similar situations in the past and we know how it feels um, to lose two games on the bounce. And I think that's when a great team stands up and, and wants to play. Uh, we're going to focus on ourselves and, and make sure all our stuff is, is ready to go on this for the weekend. Um, I think we've we've put in the work and we, we will continue to put in the work this week. Um, but playing against New Zealand... For South Africa, there's nothing more that you need when you run onto that field. So, whatever situation it may be, um, you know it's going to be probably your biggest game of the year, and you're going to have to pitch up. And you guys, um, you've got, won so many honours, and now there's a series in in South Africa. Um, so, is that a talking point for series? Uh, that this is a feather that you would like um, in, in the cap, or is it more uh, kind of just a game by game kind of thing? Yeah, I just don't think we ever really want to lose. So, um, yeah, if we go unbeaten, that's probably the goal. Um, well, that's what we always want to do is, is we don't want to let our country down. We don't want to let our teammates down. So um, we, we're definitely taking it week by week. We're not going to um, say from the start we're going to win two games on the bounce. That's our goal. We want to get through this one first and then, then focus on fixes or improvements or whatever it may be. No, it's going to be massive. Um, we pitched up for a signing session on 8.30 on Saturday morning and there was a queue of I don't even know how many people, but then you just saw um, what it means to them. Uh, and obviously, um, with the Pumas doing so well, I think there's a great rugby vibe going on at, at the moment. And um, yeah, I've, I think there's people struggling to find anywhere to stay for the Test match. So it means there's there's a lot on this game, and, and people are really backing us to um, from Nelspet side. And I think there's people travelling from far to come come down and watch. Um, so now the supports are it's amazing. Yeah. Um. One of the things a lot of people talk, uh, talking about from the Ireland series was how well Ireland played, but not less on how they did, which was one of the key reasons they won the series. So they planted New Zealand at 9 and 10. What did you guys take from Ireland's story? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, well, that's it. We'll, we'll have come up with our own plans, and um, okay. we have. We have focus on, on certain areas where we can target them. Um, but yeah, it shows you need to, the one thing you, you need to man up physically against them. And um, I don't think there's a lot of our guys that, that shy away from the physicality battle. So I'm um, excited with that. But like I said, we'll, we'll come up with our own plans. We're not going to try and copy something that's, that's not in our inbred in, in, inbred in us. So um, yeah, we got some plans. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, he's a, we've become friends off the field, um, but obviously we both know once we get on the pitch, it's, it's uh, 
back to business and uh, yeah, he's one of their key players. He's over 100 tests, which makes him unbelievably successful in what he's, what he's been doing over there. Um, so yeah, it's a lot to learn from him, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's always good to play against one of the best guys in the world. Well, just, I mean, you lost your place for the third test against Wales, um, Jaden's come in. Um, are you feeling a bit of pressure there, with a bit more rivalry now, with, with, with Jaden there, reading down in there? I think there's always been that pressure from all the other nines. There's we five guys in the camp now again, um, and I think from what I personally, Jock and them can can pick anyone on the day to start. And um, we, I don't think we all play a similar game, but they will do the job that that's needed. So I think there's always that pressure. And, and if you, like you said, if you slip up once, maybe get another chance. If you do it again, then you're gone because the next guy's ready to go. And I think. That's so good, and if you look at our entire squad, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, if you experienced or a youngster coming through, it doesn't really matter, you need to show it on the field. So um, I quite enjoy big games and, and pressure. I think that's where um, most of our guys play really well. So um, it's, it's good to have that feeling. Um, so you, you know you need to perform. Uh, well, the guys haven't played New Zealand in the, the New Zealand in Super Rugby. So, for the past two years, do you feel that some of the English players are a bit of an unknown quantity? Yeah, for sure. Um, we we try and uh, do our homework on a lot of well, basically all the players, and to make sure we we get a sense of of what their weaknesses and and, and strengths are. Um, but yeah, it is a bit unknown. Um, but yeah, that's just up to us and and to the coaches to make sure we, we know our detail on every single player that's not very well known. But um, yeah, we've done our stuff on them already and I think we're just going to go in deeper uh, as the week goes on. So you and Malcolm have done great things together, um, so going back years now, so sharing a milestone with him, I, I can just say what you appreciated most of him uh, and how you feel about Malcolm. Yeah, I started playing with Malcolm as a, he was still a boy actually at the Lions um, coming through and always been his ability, these ball carries and his strength of the ball was always there but not always the most accurate thrower when he started off and then worked so unbelievably hard on it so he's, he's I don't, can't remember when he's missed a line out so his work rate is immense, his um, off the field stuff is immense, his professionalism is great, great guy, everybody loves him and um, yeah, he's a big teddy bear but once he puts a Springbok jersey on, he comes an animal. So I'm, I'm really proud of him. Um, I'm not so happy that he overtook me with the caps, but uh, it's, uh, it's great for him. And I think he's going to play a lot more tests for the Springboks. Well, um, you played a lot of rugby uh, many years ago, a lot of sweat on the, on the training A field, and then moving to the Lions, going over to Sail, an amazing journey, um, going to Japan recently. Coming back as a, as a low felder, to represent your country in the stadium in front of um, the people of the low felt, what does it mean to you personally? No, it's kind of nice to I think we last played here in 2016. Um, yeah, you sort of reminisce on, on everything you went through and me and Vince had a bit of a laugh with other guys saying, yeah, they don't know what it's like to, to go through this route and the stuff we had to do with Jimmy back in the day and uh, just had a bit of a giggle and just just reminiscing on on the sort of battle that you that you had to travel to get to to this place um, and I think Jock mentions it a lot there's a lot of guys in this group that really had to fight to 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 get you um, you were written off as as a youngster you weren't supposed to be here so I think we lean on that a lot and um, we take a lot of uh, energy into the game because of that we want to use that um, in everything we we do. It's definitely not high felt. Um, no. It's uh, it's not as bad, but it's not the same as playing in Durban or Cape Town. So it's pretty much uh, in the middle there, but obviously we all know it's very humid. 
um, the ball does get a little, uh, a lot slippery and uh, and things like that that we need to need to control. Um, but yeah, we've been here now for so it'll be our second week and we've been training at altitude. So this would actually probably give us a bit of a boost going onto the pitch. But um, yeah, just again, that's not things we can really control. If the ball's slippery on the day, it's, it's slippery and we need to adjust to that. Um, but other than that, it's just making sure we, we prepared well and um, yeah, just to go out there and make the people proud.